Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the GATE 2017 Mathematics paper. Today we will discuss about LPP based question name as 24, 25, 54 and 55. So let's see what is this question number 24. This is related to question but this is correct answer. If you get one marks then the 1 by 3 is the deduction b. Second question is related to the primal and the dual relationship. The first question is related to the optimal solution LPP and some unrestricted variables. Question number 54 is related to the transportation problem and your target is to find the optimal solution. While the last question is again related to this optimal solution of the LPP and you have to find certain unknown parameters k. Now how you can solve these four questions are there. You can see how many marks you will get as a 2 plus of another 2, 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 5 and plus 6. So you will get a six marks within a few minutes. You can understand this. Uh, this techniques are there. So let's start with this. Uh, questions are there. How you can solve the first question, which is consists of that one marks. So firstly, you have to think about the options are there. What is the option? Is they are talking about the BFS. They are talking about the BFS infinite many solution and here. How you can solve that? It is unrestricted problem. So what you can do is normally you, whenever there is unrestricted, you have to replace them with, as of the two positive variables but since it is mcq there is no need to consider this one what you can do is you have to draw the graph of the first line so this is nothing but my here this is a line of the x1 plus x2 is nothing but my 8 how you can draw the second line is whenever x1 is that's a 9 this is 9 and this is a 6 this is my 8 so this is my 6 are there so you can write like here and what is the point of intersection you can easily solve them if you multiply them by the 2 and then subtract them so you will get as 18 minus 16 so x2 will be my 2 and if you substitute here x1 will be my 6 so this point will be my 6 comma 2 now you can draw this third line x1 is is equal to 6 this is line my x1 is 6 now which one is the point of the feasible reason is there the first one is the below line so this is there this is but the second one is greater than so the only point of intersection is my here so what is the right answer of this so this lpp has only one feasible solution this is the one feasible solution is there and it, it is also the basic and up, uh, on this basic there is a optimal value uh, we, you can compute them so since there is no need to compute them so what is the right answer is there is no optimal solution that is cancel out only one feasible solution that is the right answer for there more than one basic feasible solution not possible because there is only one right answer is there now since there is no more than one answer so there is infinite many option will be cancel out so right answer of this is my pro answer b look about the second one is there this is related to the primal dual relationship so i already discussed that in my previous videos related to the gate 2018 lpp based questions gate 2019 20 21 all we have discussed in our last video you can see them in my previous one so what you can do is there is all what is the relation between the primal and the dual always remember whatever the optimal value of the primal and whatever the optimal primal of the dual they are always same second is uh, whatever the problem is the maximization and other one is the minimization then minimization then the optimal answer of this minimization is always be greater than 0 uh, greater than of the primal at of the feasible this is called as the weak duality theorem remember i discussed in the last video also someone some student may think about that the primal is always be greater than of the dual or dual is always be greater than of the primal as of the weak duality theorem but that is not true whatever the problem of the maximization that answer is less than of the minimization now look at that which of the following is not true dual of the dual is primal that's a true statement if the lpp has unbounded then the dual has infeasible and so on so what is that i recall all of you this points are there what is that if there does not exist any optimal solution the same for the dual if there exists a optimal solution then same for the dual if primal is unbounded then the dual has infeasible solution so look at the point is there if the primal is unbounded then the dual is infeasible you can see it is a true statement so it means this is also the correct statement look at that if the primal is infeasible so what will happen if primal is infeasible then the dual is either unbounded or infeasible what is that the dual must have 
there is a word of the must have that's a wrong statement because the dual either is unbounded or infeasible solution so that's a wrong statement so it means this is the right answer look at the last option also if the primal has the optimal solution dual also has the optimal solution that is also the correct answer so this is the only option which is not true so you may recall these four uh, these seven points are there also you can see the degenerate solutions are there and other is there this question related to this is asked in the gate 2018 we discussed in our previous video this one is uh, the this one is asked in the gate 2020 exam this is already we asked this time they are asking about this remark are there so you may remember this remark look at the next examples are there this is related to the transportation problem and you can see you will get the two marks so in our last class we have all, already discussed that whenever there is a transportation problem and they are asking about the optimal solution you will start from the northwest corner always be what you can do is this value is my 10 if you start from here now this is again 10 so this is my 10 this is my 20 this is my 10 and this is my 50 so you can see these are there now in order to find this you have to apply the uv method quickly so let's say i can start from here zero so what is the value of this this is nothing but my 4 this is my 3 if it is 3 then it is my 7 if it is 7 then it will be my minus of 2 if it is minus of 2 then it will be 9 now we can compute the values at the non occupied cells and check whether all are negative or not you can see that this value is the positive b it means this is not optimal so once it is not optimal then you have to draw the loop and then solve it so it means this is a quite lengthy but since we are in the mcq we have to solve it quickly how you can solve it quickly now since northwest is not the applicable so you can apply the least cost method so what is that smallest element is here so you can start with this this is my 20 so the first row will be cancel out the next one is here you can apply this one as a 30 this is my 30 next one is my this is cancel out so uh, this will be here it is now 30 it is now 10 it is now 10 now you can find them it is a zero so you can assign this value as a 8 is a 9 it's a 7 and once it's a 9 uh, it's a 3 then it will be my minus of 6 it's a 7 it's a 5 then it will be my minus of 2 now you can compute them whether all are negative or not you can see it's a plus of 2 minus 4 it's a negative it's a plus of 6 minus of 1 it's a negative it's a 9 minus of 7 minus of it's a negative is a plus 5 minus 6 is a negative so all are negative it means optimal solution reach so there is no need to there is no need to apply the uv method again so what is the right answer is there 60 this will be my 80 this is my 150 this is my 250 or 210 this will be my 90 so you can add them this is my 230 this is my 360 if you add them again so it will be the 9 590 is the required answer so remember you can start always with the northwest if you get as some positive value leave them apply the least cost there is no need to apply the ram method look at the last example now whenever there is an optimal solution is given to you you have to apply the complementary slackness result so remember that that will give you a very simple answer so if you what is optimal solution so you firstly you have to try to find the optimal solution it is clearly says that this is the line of the x1 plus x2 is 1 this is the line of the 2x1 plus 3x2 is equal to 1 and this is the optimal feasible solution the point corresponding to this is called as the 0 comma 1 by 3 this is my half comma 0 so and this is my 0 comma 0 so what is that at this at this four uh, three points which one is the optimal you can see that k is my 2 it is given that so this value the corresponding value of z is 0 corresponding value of the z is 1 corresponding value of z is 5 by 3 so it means this is my optimal so hence what is the right answer is x1 is 0 x2 is my 1 by 3 now how you can find the values of the k so for that you have to apply this complementary slackness what is the complementary slackness you can write the constants corresponding to them if i call as y1 and y2 are the two dual variables you can quickly write this as of k and the second one is y1 plus of 3y2 is greater than equal to 5 now if you write the first equation as of the slack variable this as of this 
then how many variables are there you can see n is my number of variables which are 4 m is the number of the constants are 2 so it means n minus m will be my 2 so that 2 values must be 0 so out of these 4 values one value is given as a 0 it means this value is a non-zero these two well out of them one value will be 0 so which one is 0 you can satisfy this equation here you can see this s2 will be 0 and from here you can easily get the value as of the 2 by 3 now now apply the complementary slackness condition now since s1 is a variable which are present here what is the meaning of that the corresponding variable is 0 if the variable is present the corresponding constraint satisfied as equality so what is the meaning that this is the variable x2 so the second constraint is satisfied as equality and s1 is present it means the first variable is 0 so if if y1 is 0 you can substitute as y2 is this one so you can substitute this value in here what is the right answer y1 is 0 so 10 by 3 is greater than or equal to k your target is this one so since we need the largest value of the k so and it will be up to the two decimal places so the right answer is my 3.33 is the right answer of this problem so you can always remember that the complement is slackness condition you may uh, you may watch the previous videos of my gate 2018 19 20 and 21 where we have discussed this complement is slackness part in details so this is the way you can solve these four questions and easily get the eight marks within a few minutes after. I hope you can enjoy this session too. You can simply follow this link for finding the various videos. Till then, best of luck students.